Quinns, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we should review Railroad Inc. No, actually, I was thinking that we should review Railroad Inc. <laughs> Based on the 2001 movie Training Day, Railroad Inc. is a game designed by Roland Wright about drawing train tracks and roads. Up to six players can all sit around these four little dice and each round you roll them and everyone has to draw all those results somewhere on their map. Constructing a sticky web of connections as if you were a cross between a civil servant and Spider-Man. After seven rolls of the dice, players tot up their scores, getting points for using these 12 exits in as few networks as possible. For example, in an entirely non-game way, if I was to draw this and connect these things... That's illegal. illegal. It's completely illegal. It's not how the game works. That would get me eight points. And if I did it again, another eight points. Eight points for three connections, that's great. But I've drawn a nice version of what that looks like. We can use this. Oh yeah, you've done it properly. Well look, that's gonna get you eight points for that and eight points for this. However, if you connected them as one big thing, uh. then that would get you 20 points. And ideally, if you can connect all of these exits up to one perfect network, that's a whopping 45 points. That's unreal, doesn't even bear thinking about. Also, you're gonna get one point for every length of your longest road and every length of your longest railway. So that's one, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine points just for that. Loads. Finally, you're gonna get a point for every tile in the middle that you've used. So you've got three for that at the moment. It's pretty weak, Quinns. Pretty weak. <laughs> Give me a break. It was not even a real. It's not even real. We were just doing the review. It's not my best. This is the best. It's well, not. This is not the game. Ignore that. Finally, though, you are going to lose points as well. For every end that doesn't match up, like in this, you've actually miraculously, because you've made it up, <laughs> you've only got one point lost. But for every part that doesn't quite neaten up, if you've got a road that goes nowhere, a track that just ends, you lose a point, which is great because it ties in with the fact that the human brain doesn't want that anyway. You want your little railway world to be as neat and tidy as possible. It's a smooth rule that fits snugly with players' natural impulses. Mm. Now, we'll talk later about just how good this puzzle is and about the different expansions you get in the red and blue versions. But can I just start by saying we have never reviewed a game that has blissed me out as much as this. We were playing in a pub, right? And I was focusing on my little puzzle, drawing tidy lines, and the pub started playing this ambient house music. And my brain just shut everything else out until my reality was just this game, and I was there, in the world of trains. And I stopped thinking about money troubles or relationship anxiety. I'd left all of that stuff behind and I could just take a ride down my longest road, which was already a whole six spaces long, and I thought to myself, I could make this longer. Yeah, I could make this longer. And then do you know what I did? I ruined it. I ruined it by saying... God, isn't it crazy how we haven't said anything for like seven minutes? I had achieved networking nirvana, and I wasn't worthy. I... Are you all right? I don't know, Matt. I mean, are any of us all right? I'll tell you what, this game is all right. Do you need to lie down? Yeah. The reason that Railroad Inc. is such a happy little experience starts with the fact that you're joyfully drawing these fat little lines. But the puzzle here is fantastic too. Long after the dice have been rolled, you're still constantly gambling setting off these connections out into this vast tundra of blank unknown, never having any idea for sure whether or not your plans of a network will ever come to fruition. A few turns in, Railroad Inc.'s teasing nature starts to become more apparent, where it's easy to dream big and think, I'm gonna make this incredible network, it's gonna go all the way, but then actually tying together these small networks is a lot trickier than you might think. But you get to do it a lot more often than you'd imagine getting the perfect dice and tying up to there, penning the perfect answer into a perfect box. Oh, it feels good. But then the other, there's the other half of the time where you're getting dice that you just really don't want and you have to use. At which point, the horrendous puzzle of where can that go 
ah, uh, you do this, you vocalize it. You sit around the table with your friends and you all go, ah, because you, you've just ruined your neat, beautiful little, ah. So that's a strong foundation, but then what elevates Rail Rank towards greatness is a couple of things. The first off is this beautiful presentation from artist Marta Tranquilli. But also, players aren't restricted to only drawing the dice that are rolled. You see, everyone also has access to some one-shot powers. And this tiny addition turns Railroad Inc. from a fun distraction into a real contest. So, on three of the game's seven rounds, you can deploy one of these legendary intersections, creations of pure fantasy, a road that goes in four directions. <laughs> Imagine that. But what these things do is they enable you to turn a game that's quite slippery and surprising into a creation that's smart and lets you be successful. In letting you hook your desperate plans together, these intersections really do transform the game. Despite all the decadent <laughs> random chance in a game of Railroad Inc., with these intersections at your disposal, suddenly, if you lose, it always feels like you got outplayed. You should have been more ambitious. You never should have started that second network. Railroad Inc. isn't a big experience, but there is a real emotional landscape that you move through in the 15 minutes that it takes to play a game. Speaking of which, Matt, there's a meteor coming! What? I love you! <laughs> only, only in the game. Oh, good. Meteors are one of the sets of expansion dice that come bundled with Railroad Inc. The red edition lets you optionally play with meteors or volcanoes, while the more idyllic blue edition offers rivers and lakes. And you can kind of guess how all this stuff works. Rivers you have to draw, but they can be crossed by a bridge result. Lakes are entirely optional, but can offer fantastic connections between your networks by using docks. Volcanoes squirt out some lava every turn, but you get more points if you choose to draw both lots of lava. And meteors crash randomly around your board, sometimes destroying your tracks, but you get two points for each of your open connections leading into a crater, letting you consume the delicious minerables. What? Delicious minerables. Now, these sets of expansion dice are the only difference between the two editions of Railroad Inc., which brings us to the question of should you get Sapphire Blue or Ruby Red? I'm pretty sure they're just called Blue and Red. Should you get Blood Red or Streets of Sorrow Blue? Uh, the only thing I should point out at this point, though, is it doesn't really matter. I agree. Both of these are great. All four of the different expansions are really fun, so honestly, you should just go for whichever one is more available or cheaper. Yeah, I think I would add that like the rivers and lakes of blue kind of more suit the game's chilled out vibe, Ooh. but I would say that if you want a counterpoint to the chilled out vibe, the volcanoes and meteors are quite exciting. Mm, it's a spicy boy. I think I prefer red. I think I'm more of a relaxation on a boat, let's go in a lake. And also it's got an incredibly delightful color scheme on this. Yeah, it's quite adult, this one. It is. Can this is I, more for children. This, yeah. Can I have, uh, can I have both? No. This Why? I don't, it's just, I mean, it's easy. Just give it to there's no mid-review turnaround here waiting to pull into station. Railroad Inc. is just great. It's pretty, it is accessible, it's got some depth, it's delightful, it's Moorish. It's just a wonderful little box. And what a wonderful little box with little magnetic flaps just slide in there. It's so nice. It Beautiful. absolutely has to get the Shall Ever Sit Down Recommends badge. Uh, although I might warn people about the fact that there is no player interaction at all, except for like, well, I mean, if you play it by yourself, it's the same as playing it with six people. The yep. only difference is that you can't, at the end, put everyone's towns together and be like, oh, it's uh, kind of almost pretty. Oh, that's nice. That's it's like nice. a, it's, I wouldn't live there. No. The thing is though, we have to mention that because some people that's really a big problem for, but for us, we didn't mind. Not this at all. is one of these examples of the strange, wonderful, unknowable alchemy of board games. And the fact that just because you're all using the same dice and doing different things with those same set of actions, it feels enough like you've got a 
connection. Yeah, you're kind of like... You're, you're sharing an experience together. Yeah, and because you're sharing that experience, it's kind of like going to the cinema together, you know? It's like, yes, you're not talking, but you're kind of... Yeah. You're kind of just... It's it's working anyway. You're maybe you even know? afraid of doing it on your own. Yeah, exactly. Sharing is great. I love sharing things. You know, some people... Like, I love to share. Love. Does. Yeah, you do, yeah. Money. I'm one of nature's sharers, you know? I share, Sometimes if I have, like, a big pasta yeah. then I'll be like you know what you can have some of this it's yours and people will be like oh, this is just very generous I'll be yeah. like, I'm a generous guy you know mm. love and pasta that's kind of my deal yeah. anyway uh, I will see you soon see you soon thanks uh, buddy bye thank you um, and thank you guys I swear to you thank you guys uh, thank you for cho choosing to watch our video on YouTube uh, that of course has been a review of um, Railroad Inc. Red which Quinns has got and Railroad Inc. Oh, you son of a... Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you've enjoyed this video, then uh, you've got... There's loads of others. Literally, we've got loads. I don't know what we're doing with our lives. We're just reviewing loads of board games. Lots of board game coverage. We've got other, other things you can watch. Ah, uh, so that's nice, isn't it? So,